right off the bat, Casey got in and and uh, put some skin on some of their guys, and and we were right in their face right from the get-go. So, uh, yeah, I, I thought they, they they sort of set the tone, and and uh, every line sort of followed that. that. That's sort of you know you don't expect anything different from them. They expect them to come out that way all the time. The line were a little nervous because we were like, we got to have a good shift here. We can't, you know, let the let the fans down. They're into it. They're jacked up, and uh, we fed off that all night, even uh, down to nothing. I said this the other day. Uh, we never really had a feeling that we were going to lose that game, and we wanted to come out and find a way to win for those fans. All that support all game was unbelievable, and you know, gave I think all the guys said it gave us chills the entire game. AJ, I know you had a longer conversation with Matt Martin after skate this morning. What else did you learn? Well, you could see the enthusiasm just in his conversation right there, and, and that continued in, when he and I spoke off camera. And he talked about the role that Barry Trotz has given this fourth line. It's not just to give the top players a rest, as on some teams, but actually to match up against the top players in the league. Panarin, for example, with the Columbus Blue Jackets last week, Marshan and Pasternak, and he said they take a great amount of pride in that. They, they play 10 or 12 minutes a game, but 10 or 12 minutes against the these top elite players in the league, not 10 or 12 minutes against other fourth lines, said so they may not produce as much offensively as, as the top two lines, but that they know that they're playing a, a huge role for Barry Trotz and for the rest of the team. 